Hi, in this lecture we will discuss about hidden Markov model implementation using Python. So for that we will be using HMM Learn which is a set of algorithms for unsupervised learning and inference of hidden Markov models. Which was previously a part of uh, scikit-learn. Now it is uh, used as a separate module. Uh, which will not be available directly in uh, Jupyter Notebook or uh, Google Colab. So you'll have to install it uh, in your system and use it. So the dependencies are you should be using Python 3.5 or above, NumPy 1.10 or above, scikit-learn 0.16 or above. In For installation you can use uh, this command pip install uh, hmm learn then the module will be installed on your system and later on you can uh, use it. So HMM learn is the set of algorithms or the module which we are going to use for implementation of hidden Markov model. Here uh, we are going to use uh, spider IDE. Uh, you can use any IDE like uh, PyCharm, spider or uh, Jupyter notebook. So in uh, once if you installed any of this ID or uh, and this uh, HMM learn in your system then you can use it directly so how you use it you directly import uh, it from uh, just like the command which we u we used to write so let's start building up our HMM uh, implementation We'll import numpy first, import numpy as np. Then next is import hmm learn. So from hmm learn dot hmm we are going to use uh, multinomial hmm import from import from hmm learn dot hmm import multi multinomial hmm the other options are there can be gaussian hmm uh, the difference is that multinomial hmm uh, in multinomial hmm the emission probabilities where will be categorical whereas in uh, in gaussian it will be uh, from a normal distribution Let's take very uh, the simplest of it. So it's a multinomial HMM. For running this uh, command, you can just press Control and Enter. Then the output will be shown here. This is the interrupt uh, enhanced I, uh, IPython environment. So run this. You can see that this cell was run and uh, there is no error. So this is how uh, Spider or any IDE like uh, um, Jupyter Notebook or PyCharm is used. Now let's uh, start building uh, HMM by uh, specifying the parameters. It should have a start probability or initial probability. So we'll write it as start probability equal to. Let's say you have uh, only two states, np dot array, and we have we are setting for both the parameters. Uh, sorry, for both the states as. Uh, 50% chance so starting probability or pi is equal to pi 1 equal to 0.5 and pi 2 is also 0.5 now we need to specify transition matrix trans mat equal to np dot array then you need to specify the transition from 1 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 1 2 to 2 isn't it so let's say you have specified it as 0 0.7 that is a one to one transition probability and 0 0.3 which is the one to two transition probability then two to one transition probability is once again 0 0.3 comma and two to two probability is 0 0.7 so this is a11 a12 a21 a22 okay Now for multinomial HMM we need another uh, uh, parameter called covariance. So we will specify it as covariance is equal to np.array. 
which is a latent uh, parameter, latent variable. 0 0.9, 0 0.1, 0 0.9 comma 0 0.1 comma then 0 0.2 comma 0 0.8 so at any point if you press uh, control enter you can run the cell and find the output so you have run the cell and uh, there is no error now you actually uh, create the model so model equal to multinomial HMM into that you need to specify what all things uh, you have to pass how many states are there n components equal to number of states equal to 2 then the start probability start probability equal to we have already specified that is our uh, start probability and transition matrix transition matrix probability equal to transmit so transition matrix we have specified uh, number of components that is number of states then what is the initial probabilities then what is the transition matrix okay I can see that uh, from this now uh, we uh, have created this model out of uh, the already specified pi and transition matrix and uh, covariant matrix is uh, covariance is not specified here but still so from uh, number of components there are two components pi 1 is 0.5 pi 2 is 0.5 and the transition matrix is also shown now you can see that the transition matrix is taken by the model so it is model dot transmat Multinomial HMM object has no transmat. So H is equal to this is already specified here by using uh, transition matrix. So uh, that's our model right now. Has no attribute transmat. So in some situations where uh, we'll have to instead of directly specifying like this if we have some set of observations we can learn or we can estimate the uh, transition matrix and uh, initial probabilities right so let's take uh, another simple example where we have x is equal to this set of observations so let's say this is our observations and we'll try to fit our uh, model onto this then we'll be able to see what is the transition now that transition matrix is already specified here so let's say this was the observation we have got 0 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 the first state was initial state was 0 then transition 0 to 0 0 to 1 1 to 0 like that then comes all zeros 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 and another was something like this 1 1 1 0 another transition was Another observation uh, was like this 0 comma 1 sorry 0 1 comma 0 let it be this observation this was our observation now we can try to fit your model onto this so model dot fit you can fit your data with this model so you have fit your model now you can ask uh, what is the model dot trans matrix uh, so let's say print model dot trans transmat see this is your uh, transition matrix now 0 0.878 0 0.12 0 0.20 and 0 0.7 and this is what it was learned from this data so the transition matrix uh, initially we have given this transition matrix 
and uh, if, uh, the another uh, possibility is that you can try to learn a transition matrix out of the set of observations so let's say these are the observations you got initial state was 0 then transition from 0 to 0 0 to 1 1 to 0 this was uh, one observation the second observation was this third observation was this so like the this is a very uh, small uh, set of observations actually you should have a large number of uh, data like this then only your uh, model will be correct but for uh, just for uh, training or just for uh, trying out something we have come up with a uh, sample a uh, set of observations where there is only four observation what you have to do is you create a multinomial HMM model and fit your data onto this model then you can find the transition matrix so this is the transition matrix it has identified from this so from this you change some value let's say uh, this was uh, one now we'll see what is the transition matrix it is getting so see that the transition matrix has changed this is 0 0.71 0 0.28 so based on the set of observations it can uh, find out a transition matrix now let's see uh, whether this model will be able to predict something or uh, uh, what is the probability that uh, obtaining this uh, sequence of uh, this particular sequence of uh, states let's say this is my state sequence uh, 0 0 0 1 0 1 that's my state sequence then uh, so we'll li write like this probability equal to uh, h dot decode or sorry model dot decode model was our HMM so model dot decode then we'll write np dot array and the list is 0 1 comma 0 1 so this is our uh, state uh, initially was in zero state then a transition from zero to one then one to zero then zero to one what is the probability that this particular state transition or this particular observation uh, is possible so we'll reshape it to two dimensional array reshape four comma one okay now model dot decode so model has decoded with this uh, or uh, just uh, like prediction how much probability is there or not so you can uh, print the probability you can see that what is the probability uh, the model is predicting model predicted probabilities with this value array 0 1 oh, the probability was returned by this set of values for this array 0 1 1 0 1 we'll uh, we'll take the first values uh, exponent e raised to value so we'll take it as np dot e xp probability values first value 0 0 th value so this is a probability see that the probability is 0 0.0309 and so this is how we can calculate the probability of a particular observation so initially this was our set of observations based on that we have uh, created the uh, HMM model and that HMM model was able to that HMM model was able to predict your uh, new set of observation this is the probability of observing this particular uh, sequences sequence of states is this value 0 0.0309 another important uh, aspect of HMM is to generate new samples generate new samples so that uh, that is the main uh, usage of uh, an HMM let's say uh, we would like to generate some hundred samples out of this particular setup so x comma z equal to model dot sample model dot sample how many values you would like to have hundred samples so like that and you can see the value of x it has generated so this is the value of exit as generated or this is a possible 
uh, sequence 0 0 0 1 1 1 and so there are only two states so 0 or 1 so that sequence it has generated so this is a simple uh, usage of or a, uh, this is how we use uh, HMM for generating new samples so this was a very uh, simple or very small implementation of hidden Markov model we have used HMM learn module in that we have used multinomial HMM uh, there are other uh, possibilities other categories like uh, Gaussian HMM the difference is that multinomial HMM uh, has uh, emission probabilities as multinomial or uh, categorical so we, have, we need to specify a start probability starting probability is the initial probability uh, here we specify only two states uh, say state 0 and state 1 state 0 is uh, initial probability is 50 percentage state 1 is initial probability is 50 percentage then one method is you can specify the transition matrix and create the model or you can get uh, you can take some observations and using that observation you can generate the model by fitting in this set of observations onto your model but for fitting an observe set of observation onto this model like this you need to have a large amount of data then only your uh, model will be correct then you can use this model for uh, decoding a new entry or you can uh, generate different samples out of it so uh, that's about an implementation of uh, hidden Markov model using python thank you